and welcome back to my channel. If you're here, my name is Brooklyn. Um, I'm currently in the Disney College program here in Orlando, Florida. And today, I honestly just haven't talked to y'all in forever. So I was like, why don't we talk a little bit while I'm getting ready for work? So I am in my costume. This is my stock costume. It is a blue skirt and you can kind of see it. I'll try to do a full view whenever I'm done. And then it's this like really thin blue and white stripe um shirt has a little pocket right here that I usually put my sunglasses or my um telecast which is like our little paper that we get that like tells us what's going on in the parks but um yeah this is my stock costume this isn't the usual stock costume this is a um religious accommodation for the skirt the actual costume only has pants or shorts so but yeah I'm gonna do a little talk about how life's going we're going to talk about future plans because it is currently March 19th. My initial program and like that I signed up for when I first signed up for the program ends May 8th. So we're like six or eight weeks away, I think, at this point. Um, and I really haven't given you all that many updates the past few weeks because I've been working nonstop. Um, but yeah, I was going to tell you all how it's been going as I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair today. But let's go. So, like I said, May 8th is my original like end date for this program. Um, and I really have been struggling with what I want to do after because I wanted to stay with the company. So I put in a job application to go part-time, full-time. So if you didn't know, with Disney College program, after your program is up or like a month or two before your program is done, you'll get an email saying, hi, we see that your program's ending soon. Are you wanting to stay with the company? If so, fill out this paper, um, this application to apply to go part-time, full-time. So I obviously did that. Um, someone just walked really loud upstairs and literally shook the door. Um, but I did that because I wanted to stay. Um, and I got like, oh, I filled that out like two months ago. Or a month ago. It was like pretty much right after I got here because I did such a short program. Um, and I got word a few weeks ago that it got rejected, um, which is not the greatest. Um, and they were like, well, you can choose to extend instead, um, which if you didn't know, you'll also get emails it's like, would you want to extend your program? And there are a few different things you can do to extend your program. You can stay same role, same location. You can ask to change roles, but you don't get to preference what role you want really. Like you kind of do, but it really doesn't matter if those put you where they need you. Or you can do a premium extension. Now I wanted to do a premium extension, but right after I moved here for the second program, I learned that the premium extension I wanted to do, which was the, um, et the conservation education presenter program, which is like the little wilderness explorer troop leaders throughout um, Animal Kingdom that like do like the little academic presentations for the kids about all the different animals and wildlife and conservation. Um, in order to be eligible for that, my program had to start after January 29th or something like that. I got here January 8th, so I was automatically ineligible. Um, so really upset about that. And I was just going to go ahead and apply for it anyway, but they had like so many different, um, like things on the application stating like no exceptions. Um, you have to get gotten here after January 28th. No exceptions will be made. Da -da -da -da. Like pretty much be like, don't even bother applying if you're not. So even though I have a background in education and that's my degree and everything, I couldn't apply to that. The other premium extensions were um, like the VIP tour, but it wasn't for the actual like tour guides. It was for like the drivers and like the support for the tour people. And it just didn't seem like a good fit for me. So I didn't apply to that one. And then the only, then there was like a leadership one but I haven't been here long enough. I'm not going to get a leadership position. Um, and then the last one was minivans, which is like the lift, um, 
car service and like there's minivans that are like decorated like Minnie Mouse <laughs> um and I'm terrified of driving I hate driving like I have my car here with me on property and I'm using the buses instead of my car because I don't like driving that much so um I was like well that's not gonna work um so yeah couldn't do any of those so I ended up extending um and they were like you can extend till you can put whether you would like to extend in August or until January. Preference is given to those who choose January because there's like hardly any spots open for those who choose August. Well, I know quite a few people at my location who got here last August. So on their extension after their part-time full-time got it like rejected, they had to put August. So I was like doing the math. I was like, I'm not gonna get it if I do August. So I had to extend, put that I wanted to extend till January even though that means I'll be stuck with the lower pay until January. So that's what I did. I put in that application. The next day I heard back that I got it, which wasn't shocking. I assumed I would get it. Um, but I also had assumed I was going to get full-time, part-time. So, oh, well, but, um, I got that and they were like, you have like, I think it was like five days or a week maybe to submit your program fee. Because apparently if you extend, you have to pay even more than you did initially for the program. So initially for the program, I think with housing, application fee, like not application fee, like admin fee and program fee, it was like $480 or something like that in total the first time. And then this time to extend, I've already paid $240. And it will be even more if I stay here at Flamingo. But I'm hoping to move out into my own apartment and not do housing the second half of my program. So as of right now, I'd only have to pay 240, which is like still a lot of money, but not as bad as it could have been. So that's the plan for right now, extending until January 2nd in um, merchandise. But the scary thing is, is I like did have to like sign a thing saying like, if they needed me somewhere else, they can move me wherever they want. So. That kind of scares me because if you haven't heard, like on my channel, I've said it once or twice, one of my old roommates from my last program, she worked at Typhoon Lagoon in Slide Ops. And when Typhoon closed, they trained her at Blizzard Beach the week before her and all of the other Slide Ops people that were cast, like um, college program participants were supposed to like s open Blizzard Beach. They randomly got a schedule change and didn't even get like emails from leadership, nothing. Just on their schedule saw that they had a different training and they're like, what's this? They all got moved to custodial. <laughs> so that's a little terrifying for me. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, but like if they wanted to change me back to children's activities, I would be completely fine with that because I love children's activities. But like, I'm kind of terrified that I'm going to get moved over to um, custodial. <laughs> but hopefully I'll just stay merch or go to children's activities because I put both of those like high up in like high interest. <sighs> so yeah, for right now I'm staying in merch in Frontierland at Magic Kingdom. So um, but what that means is I'm still technically full-time. I'm still trying to find a second part-time job, even though like technically you're not supposed to have a second job while you're in the college program, but like a lot of people do. And as long as you like make it to your shifts or give away your shifts, they don't really care. Um, so I'm trying to find a second job so I can apply, like qualify for apartments. That's the big thing right now, trying to qualify for apartments so I can get my own apartment. I have one tour scheduled for tomorrow and I'm gonna try to schedule a dip, another one and possibly a third, because tomorrow's Wednesday. I usually do my apartment touring on Wednesdays, but yeah. So that's kind of like the rundown of where we're at. Um, as far as YouTube goes and like making content for y'all, it's been so bad, I'm so sorry. I have been slacking and I'm sorry. I don't like doing that to y'all, but it's kind of gone to like, I was working a lot of nights. So I was going into work at like 3 p.m., which is honestly not that late. Was getting home, what well, was getting out of work at 11.30, which again is not that late. People who work in the Emporium are there till like 2 a.m. some nights which more power to y'all, I cannot do that. But, and that's what time I was working my first program. It was till like 11.30, but the bus system is a little 
worse. So like I'm not getting back home till almost one in the morning. And then I have to take a shower because I'm disgusting and I've been sweating all day. I have to eat dinner because I haven't ate dinner yet. So I wasn't going to bed till like honestly three or four in the morning. And then I was like sleeping until like one in the afternoon. And by that point it was like whenever I woke up, it was time for me to get ready to work for work and go to work. And the only days I had off would either be a Wednesday or a Sunday and I had church and I was kind of focusing on that and not on YouTube. So yeah, the reason I'm making this right now and I'm up so early is because last week I was pretty much all mornings. So my whole sleep schedule got flipped. Um, and because of that, I wasn't, I wasn't able to film because I was like so exhausted last week. But like yesterday and yesterday started the next two weeks, I pretty much all nights. I think I've been able to trade a day or two to have mornings. Um, but because I've been, was doing mornings for a week, um, my body got used to that again. So yesterday and today, both times I woke up before 9 a.m. So that's why you all get content today because I woke up like six hours before my shift started. Um, but yeah, tonight I am stock, um, 3.30 to 9.30. So I just thought I would take all long as I get ready. Um, I'm hoping to film a little tomorrow while I'm touring apartments. Um, hopefully this video will go up tomorrow. So if that this goes up tomorrow and then I film something tomorrow to post on Friday, we'll have done a full week of vlogs, which I haven't done in like a month. So that'll be great. Um, I think I actually had a park reservation for today that I need to cancel because I thought I was gonna go to the park before work, but like that didn't happen. Um, what else is new? Oh, one of my roommates is leaving, the one that I share a room with. Um, she's leaving the program tomorrow. She's going to the office to term. So I will have my own room for a while, which is kind of sad because like, you know, it'll be a little lonely, but also I'm kind of just excited to have my own room again. Even if it's only for like a week or two before they put someone in here. Um, and I'll be able to film in my room because I feel really awkward filming while there's someone else in the room. And I don't want to like invade someone else's space. So maybe you'll get a few sit down videos in there, but yeah, I need to make my lunch really quickly. So let's move into the kitchen. So, I really don't film in the kitchen either because like like I said, there were girls already in here whenever I moved in. So I feel like the kitchen's kind of their space. So I literally make a sandwich in here every day <laughs> and a waffle maybe in the toaster and that's about it. So I'm gonna quickly make my lunch. Um, yeah, I'm really just interested in seeing if y'all have anything you want to see. Cause I'm kind of running out of ideas for videos. So this is why you get me awkwardly staring at you for probably the next 20 minutes. Um, let me get my stuff from my lunch really quickly. So, if you have anything you'd like to see, let me know. Um, my next sit down video, I think, is going to be me probably talking about like how to have a fun solo day at the parks. Um, I feel like a lot of people are kind of scared to go to the parks alone, but I personally love it. It's so fun because I get to do what I want to do. And not have to worry about like pleasing everyone else in the group. Oh, I'm out of bread. This is my last slice of the bread. Um, I think that's going to be my next video. I don't know if anyone would want to see like, I don't know what else y'all would want to see. Cause like, I know what I enjoy watching, but I feel like a lot of the stuff that I enjoy watching has already been done like 5 million times. And I don't want to be a copier of someone else's content. So I don't want to like see someone do it and then me do it. Cause like, I feel like that's just copying and not being creative. So let me know. What do you want to see? And if you comment, I probably will do it. As long as like, it sounds somewhat fun. Um, I don't know when I can go to the park soon because spring break time has started and reservations are kind of hard to get. Um, but for some reason, our hours of working are not going up. Um, like this week I had to give away one day of work because it was like a Wednesday night or a Sunday morning one night at church. And thankfully I have the ability to like trade those shifts so I don't have to work them and I'm able to go to church. But then like, it's so hard to pick up. Like since I go to church Wednesday night, I like to work Wednesday mornings. I can't pick anything up. So I'm only working like 22 hours this week. So I'm constantly on the Facebook pages and stuff trying to find shifts to pick up um but because of that i'm kind of like scared to go into the park because what if like a shift comes open and i'm not like here at the house and don't have my costume and i can't pick it up so 
Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go into the parks again. Maybe we'll do like a before or after work one day. It's kind of easier for me to go to the parks after work, especially if I work like early in the morning um, and get out at like three. Those days are really nice to go to the park. Um, personally, at night, I prefer going over to Hollywood Studios to watch Fantasmic and then I go home. <laughs> I've done that probably four or five times. I've only filmed it once and the video did not do great. So I don't know if we like seeing that. Um, but yeah, just let me know. What do you want to see? I'm completely open to suggestions. Um, and I realize that you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm making a sandwich. <laughs> I'm making a ham and cheese sandwich. And it's a very basic sandwich. Um, and now I'm putting it in a plastic bag. But, anyhow, yeah, that's life. Um, I've applied for a few positions, and by a few I mean like 10, um, at some of the public libraries, because I really feel like that, I would do well in that, because I love reading, and it's somewhat educational, but I wouldn't be having to teach a classroom full of children. And that's really what I'm looking for, something that's educational, um, I would still get to do like a little bit of not teaching, but like one of them is for a youth programs specialist. So it's the person who like, cause I was like, what's that? And I actually looked into like the job description and it's essentially like hosting events for the youth and like, you know, being like, oh, today is like a important day. Let's have a party for this. Let's have a read aloud. Let's have this guest speaker come and like hosting that kind of stuff. And that seems like something that would really interest me. So I applied to that. I also applied to just a few like regular um, circulation desk jobs as well. So yeah, apply for those, trying to get in like that. Yeah, and I am doing a lot more with the church down here. Um, we did a small group sign up the other, a few weeks ago and I signed up for three. So I'm in three groups, so that means Usually, instead of just going over to Apaka two nights a week, I'm sometimes going over three or four. So that's kind of eating up some of my time too, which I'm 100% okay with it. Um, so some people are like, oh, we haven't seen you in a while. Are you okay? I'm actually doing great. Like, I'm not worrying really. I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing what happens. I need to put my belt on. Don't let me forget that. This skirt doesn't have like little belt loops but it does have a I do have to have a belt with it for costuming so don't let me forget that but yeah I feel like this is just me ranting I'm gonna go find my belt <laughs> I have found my belt it's the gold belt um yeah oh I just hit something glass but anyway since it's like a I just have to put it on even though I don't have belt loops and then I also have this other cool thing is this what I've been using is it? Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I also have this cool thing because I think I mentioned in a past video, my skirt just per, um, stock does not have pockets because the American Adventure Pavilion skirt, um, and their suit jacket has pockets. So they didn't put it in the skirt. Well, I'm doing stock in this costume. I need pockets for the phone and the keys I have to carry. So I was carrying them all in my hand like this, along with my water bottle. I left my water bottle at work last night also. So I have to remember to get that. But anyway, back to the task at hand. So I mentioned it to my leaders my like first day and nothing was ever done about it. And then one of my coordinators saw me one day with everything in my hands and she went and talked to the leaders and was like, Brooklyn needs pockets. <laughs> so this is the temporary fix that we've done. And they've told me that it might change. They might get me an actual like, custom made skirt. But for right now, I have this pin trading pouch that you're supposed to put pins like on here and like trade with cast members that was before covid they've still not brought it back at my location so instead i have to turn it backwards so you can't see anything it has a little pocket right here that my phone like my personal phone and the stock phone and the keys all fit in and i have to wear it crossbody like this so that's what i this is another piece of my uniform that's not or my costume that's not like streamlined um most of them don't have it also need to get my name tag and my badge. Um, but yeah, also 
So a lot of people like to give gifts um, at Disney World to cast members, which I actually really love. I'm gonna show you a collection of what all I've gotten so far. So I've gotten a few other things, but I think they might be in my actual bag and I haven't emptied it out yet. I'm, I just changed bags that I'm using for work. But here's a breakdown of what I've gotten. And I'm gonna show you them in order of what I, when I got them. I got, actually I should remember one that's here. First thing I ever got was this little origami thing. I don't know, is this just one? Is that what it is? I got this from actually a coworker um, on her last day. She gave everyone one and I hadn't even met her. It was my first day meeting her and she was like, do you want one? And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, another thing I got, this I got when I was on a glow cart. This girl came up to me and was like, do you want a friendship bracelet? And I was like, yes, I want a friendship bracelet. So I got this friendship bracelet. It says mini, super cute. Um, it's like red and black and white, super cute. I personally don't wear jewelry really, except for my um, one ring I wear. So I really haven't worn it, but it's super cute. It's on my nightstand um, and I love it. The next thing I got was this tiny itty bitty duck. It's like, it's like acrylic and it's sparkly with gold flakes, super cute. I've actually gotten a few different ones of these, um, but that's the only one I could find currently. It was actually in this, that's how I found it. The next thing I got, I'm gonna cover up this family's name, was a pen. It's like a Mickey Mouse pen. I haven't opened it yet, but it says thank you. And then it has a heart and then it says the family's name. Um, yeah, a little boy gave that to me. Super cute. The last thing I've gotten, like the most recent thing, I got this while I was on glow cart. This guy came up and he had five huge rubber ducks in his hand. Or no, one, two, maybe it was only three. I think it was only three. Sorry, I like being dramatic. Uh, but three <laughs> rubber ducks in his hand. He was like, do you want one? And I was like, yes, I want one. So there was a pink one, but it wasn't really like a cute pink. It was like more like a red pink. And there was a blue one. And then there was this one. I got this one. It is, oh, it is a sparkly silver duck. So yeah, for some reason, people like giving out ducks. Like I said, I have a few more of the little ones. There's also a security guard that apparently gives out, um, miniature animals and there's like different ones like tigers lions giraffes and i've yet to catch him he was around frontierland last night and a bunch of my co-workers got one but like by the time i went out to say hi he was already gone so i'm gonna try to catch him but yeah it's really fun whenever you get little souvenirs i have a few souvenirs um from my last program when i was children's activities as well but people sometimes forget to give things to the cast members at the hotels so i it wasn't near as often as it's here like i've only been here for like two and a half months and I already have like probably over a dozen gifts from friends that I've met in the parks. So yeah, super fun. But I'm gonna get my bag together. My lunchbox is all packed right there. I put that sandwich in there and I put some chips and um, some candy in there too. Um, this is the bag that I'm taking with me now. I was taking this lounge fly, but it just wasn't fitting everything I wanted. Um, I'm not taking this like tote bag. And in here I have some Cadbury eggs, my wallet, um, a notebook, some lip gloss, some pens, and then highlighters. And I'm also, <laughs> I'm bringing my apostolic study Bible with me to work because I like to get there early um, because I'm terrified of being late. But then I'm like sitting there for like hours, or not hours, probably like more like 45 minutes. Sometimes it is an hour though, because sometimes I'll look at the traffic and I'm like, I gotta get there early. And one time I was there like two and a half hours, hours early. But um, anyhow, I get there early and the west side, which is like where I'm at, I'm on the west side of Magic Kingdom, the break room over there has horrible signals. So sometimes I can't even get anything on my phone. So I've kind of been using that time as my like Bible study time. Um, and I'll put some headphones in and listen to worship music while I'm reading. So yeah, that's what's in my bag. If you're ever wondering what the cast member brings in their bag. Um, I also, I might bring my knitting or my crocheting. I have two projects I'm working on, one's knitting and one's crocheting. I see a lot of people do that in there um, and a lot of people just bring regular books and read. But yeah, I'm gonna go put my shoes on and my socks on and like get like the last minute stuff together and then I'll give you like a final like overview and say bye before I go off to work. Okay, I am ready for work. I have my shirt, my skirt, my belt, name tag, which I might have to Put my hair on the other side because I'm not allowed to cover up my name tag. My hair kind of is, but anywho, my badge like that I swiped in, in and out of my apartment and on the buses, and then my blue ID is also in there. I just have to take it out. 
my pouch for my phone when I get there, lunchbox, work bag, Mountain Dew for my sanity, and then my black shoes and black socks. So, oh, and my Mickey Mouse ring. And none of my nails fell off today, so I didn't have to do any of them. So I think we're just about all set. I have an extra hair tie in my bag just in case that this little one does not hold up. So I think that's gonna be it for my little <sighs> chat session and everything. I think my bus leaves in like five minutes, so I need to go. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not already, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned. Oh, I'll talk to that. We'll be coming soon. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.